chép chả What's up, Doc? Yes, you. Spending long hours throughout the week studying calculus and the library late nights trying to grasp the concepts of derivatives, integrals, mean value theorem, implicit differentiation, Riemann sum, blase blase. And I bet you're thinking, hmm, this has nothing to do with my field of study. So why am I here? Well, we are here to tell you you're wrong. Calculus is used in all aspects of medicine, such as determining the blood flow in artery or vein, calculating the amount of blood flow pumped to the heart per unit in time, calculating the proper medicine do do dosage, and many, many more. But today, we are going to discuss how calculus can be implied to detect tumor growth in humans. In order to properly correlate calculus to the field of medicine, we are going to use related rates. Because related rates consist of problems that involve finding a rate at which a quantity changes by relating that quantity to other quantities whose rate change are known. The rate of change is usually with respect to Wait for it. Time! And written DR over DD. Let's say a patient has a spherical tumor. This spherically shaped tumor is expanding at a constant rate K. With a radius of 5 millimeters, we can use the related rates method to determine the rate of growth of the volume of the tumor. Since we are using the related rates method, for this problem, the first step we would do to solve it would be to draw a picture. So you would draw a picture of the spherical tumor that's expanding at a constant rate of K. After you do the first step of drawing the picture, the second step is to identify what quantity you are looking for within the problem. In this problem, we're looking for constant K. K being the rate of the growth of the tumor. After the second step, the third step is to list what's given within the problem. In this problem, we are given the radius, which is 5 millimeters, and we know that the volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. In step four, you are to identify the equation that relates to the variable. So within this equation, the r and the v are changing with time. Therefore, the equation would be v times t equals 4 over 3 pi multiplied by r times t cubed. In the fifth step, we are going to take the derivative. We have already applied the variables with time of t right here and this is our equation. So now we are going to take the derivative of the whole equation which is 4 over 3 times, times 3 r multiplied by t for time squared and now we are going to find the dr dt which 4 times 3 divided by the 3 equals 4 dr dt 
And the dr dt in this equation is going to equal r k, which is the constant. dv dt is equal 4 pi r square k. Now substitution, we're going to substitute 5, which is the 5 minute, the radius, 5 milliliters into the equation. So dv dt is equal to 4 pi 5 milliliter, which is the radius k. DVDT is equal to 4 pi 25, which is 5 times 5, K. DVDT is equal to 4 times 25, which is 100 pi K. And this is our growth of rate of the two. And that's all, folks.